Welcome to our series, Why Gratitude is Good for You. Gratitude is the one force that, if practiced on a daily basis, can have a positive effect in all areas of your life. The best part of gratitude is that it's free and it's available to everyone. Gratitude leads you to have better health. Science has now confirmed the healing benefits that gratitude has on the immune system because it blocks negative toxic emotions that are responsible for turning on your stress response. It is impossible for someone to feel anger and to feel gratitude at the same time. Only one emotion can be present at any given time. So while your body feels the uplifting emotions such as gratitude, care, appreciation, compassion for something or someone in your life, your brain signals the body to create chemicals to match the very emotions you are feeling. So while you are giving thanks and appreciation for someone in your life, you are also producing healing chemicals that will boost your immune response. Also, gratitude makes you happier because it makes you look at the world through positive lenses. Research in positive psychology has found that gratitude and happiness are strongly correlated. But unlike the popular belief that happy people are more grateful, it is grateful people who are happier because they are grateful. The more you train yourself to express gratitude, the more things you will find to be grateful for. It is like working out a muscle. That's true, Victoria. Gratitude is the precursor to happiness because it makes you feel greater satisfaction in your life. So your assignment for this week is to train yourself to express gratitude for three things or three people in your life while you feel the joy and appreciation in your heart. Just three things. Okay, every single day, give thanks for three people or three things in your life without repeating what you said the previous days. Stay tuned for our next episode. And if you want to learn more about gratitude, check out my mom's book on Amazon, The Gratitude Blueprint. See you next week.